Hello, welcome to your new Vauxhall Corsa. Feeling excited? I bet you are. And I bet you two can't wait to get acquainted. Am I right? Well then, let's get on with the show and action. See that unlock button on your key? Go on, give it a press and you're ready to climb aboard. Mmm, breathe in that new car smell. Good, isn't it? Assuming you can drag yourself away at some point, just press this button to lock your car. Don't be gone for too long though, it may just miss you. Oh, and by the way, you can use these buttons in the centre console to control the central locking from the inside. It's pretty cool in here, isn't it? So let's make sure you're in the best position to take control. First, wriggle your bum all the way into the back of the driver's seat. Now remember, the most comfortable position is with your knees slightly bent when you push the brake pedal all the way down. You can slide the seat backwards and forwards by lifting the lever on the left at the front of the seat. And it's the same thing for your arms. Keep them comfortable with a slight bend in the elbows when you're holding the steering wheel. Just adjust the backrest using the wheel down there by your right hip. And you can pump the seat up and down like this. So, if you've done all that and the steering wheel now doesn't seem to be in the right position, you're either sitting in the passenger seat or you need to adjust the steering wheel's position. Just undo the lever underneath the steering wheel and you can move it up or down. Once you've got it right, please don't forget, you've got to put the lever back up. All set. Now for your wing mirrors. You can adjust them by selecting left or right with this switch and then manoeuvring the mirrors with these buttons. Up a bit, a little more, a little more, in the back a bit, there. Perfect. Ah. And if it's kids you're loading in and out, you'll love Isofix. The mounting points are under these flaps on the rear outer seats. Just add your own Isofix base and save yourself the back-breaking cross-car seat stretch with a seat belt. Now, flip open your key and pop it in the ignition. To start the engine, put your foot on the clutch pedal, unless you're in an automatic, in which case you won't have a clutch pedal, so press the brake instead. You'll want to keep your new car running smoothly, so here's some practical advice. Want to get under the bonnet? Easy. Pull this lever in the passenger footwell. Then, push the catch at the front of the bonnet to the right and lift. To keep it open, put the strut up. To top up the washer fluid, open this cap and pour. To check your oil, look for the yellow dipstick here and the oil filler cap here. Your owner's manual tells you how to check and refill your oil safely. Make sure you top up when you need to and you'll keep everything running nice and smoothly. Topping up with fuel, pull the flap open when the car is unlocked and unscrew the cap below. Don't worry, it locks automatically with the car. And if you want to see something really cool, look at this. Just hang your fuel cap here to keep it out of the way while filling up. If you're wondering how to open the boot, just give the button under the Griffin Badger push. Et voila, a surprisingly roomy loading area awaits. It's great for carrying shopping, luggage and all the other gear you need in life, so make the most of it. And if you need more room, you can drop the rear seats. Just pull the lever near the window at the top of each seat. Don't let a flat tyre ruin your day. Grab the inflation kit from beneath the boot floor and follow the instructions to pump your damaged tyre full of temporary foam. Got that sorted? Now head to your nearest Vauxhall retailer. They'll sort it out for you and they might even have coffee. So, that's you and your shiny new Corsa introduced. Time to leave you to enjoy one another. Have a splendid time together. We're sure you will. Let's check out some of the day-to-day -day features on your new Vauxhall Corsa. Heading out after dark, use the dial on the dash to the right of the steering wheel to turn your headlights on and off. If you've got automatic lights, you can leave the dial set to auto. Set it and forget it. It's that simple. Commuting in a P-Super, if you have fog lights, use the buttons in the centre of the dial to control them. This one for front and this one for rear. And if it's so dark you need full beam, push the left-hand stalk away from you. You can flash your lights too, just by pulling it towards you. Your indicators. Push this stalk up or down lightly for a few flashes and a little harder to keep them on. Easy. We all love the good old British weather, but it can't half get damp. To turn on your wipers, push up the stalk to the right of the steering wheel. Once for intermittent, twice for constant. Intermittent wipers too fast? Use the centre bit to control the speed. 
If you just need one swish, push the stalk down like this. Back window two, flick the switch on the end of the stalk. This way for intermittent, this way for constant. Easy driving, come rain or shine. What's even easier than easy? Automatic wipers. If you've got them, push the stalk up once and let our tech do the rest. And if a bird does the inevitable on your windscreen, pull the stalk towards you to wash it and push it away to wash the rear screen so everything's sparkling like new. Recall that hot spell we have sometime each April, the one where you think summer's arrived and then wake up to a frost? If you've got aircon, your controls will look like this. To turn it on, just press this button. Then use this dial to adjust temperature, this dial to adjust fan speed, and this dial for airflow direction. Simple. You can turn on your heated front and rear screens using this button here. Perfect for those cold winter mornings when things get a little misty. That same button will also automatically turn on your heated wing mirrors if you have them. You'll have perfect visibility in no time. If your Corsa has optional electronic climate control, it will look a little different. Press this button to turn it on, then twist the dials in the centre console to adjust fan speed and temperature, and use this dial to control the direction of airflow. Your Corsa also comes with a super clever heated windscreen. You can turn it on by pressing this button. And if the windscreen mists up, just press this button to direct maximum airflow and it will be clear in seconds. Genius! Make sure your heated windscreen is on as well for optimum demist. And if the rear screen gets misted up, that's okay. This button will sort that too. It will even turn on the heated wing mirrors if you have them. Handy! Cruise control. It makes such a difference on long journeys and it's actually easy to use. Really easy. Turn it on by pressing the button on the left of your steering wheel. Accelerate up to the speed you want, then just turn the thumb wheel down to set. And that's it. You've activated and set cruise control. Enjoy the ride. If you need to, you can then increase or decrease the speed by pushing the thumb wheel up or down. You can put cruise control on standby with a quick dab of the brake. And if you want to reactivate it, just turn the thumb wheel to res. When you want to turn the cruise control off, just press the cancel button. You can do that at any time. The Driver Information Center. It's a clever bit of kit, that computer. It'll let you know what's going on with your car without you even needing to get out of your seat. Use the controls on the indicator stalk to find all the vehicle information you need, including oil life, fuel range, and tire pressures. You can view the different menus available by pressing here and then selecting the exact section you require by twisting this dial. And by the way, if any of the lights in your instrument cluster start flashing, don't just ignore them. Make sure you check your owner's manual or contact a Vauxhall retailer.